get up close and personal with my brows. I am going to show you a quick, easy, natural brow routine that you can do every day that is super inexpensive and gives you a very nice, natural look. So, stay tuned. All right, we are going to use two products. One is the Shape and Define Brow from CoverGirl, and this is in the color Rich Brown. And we're going to use the black shade from the Unique K Perfect 22 palette. Basically, what you're going to use any sort of pigmented palette, their black shade or their dark brown shade can be used on the brows as well with the right angled brush. I'm also using this brow shaper just to help to make the black not as harsh on the brow and the brow uh, brush that I'm using is from the brow gal. It has an angled side and it also has the brush hair side and you're also going to need your mirror. So if you see me looking down a little bit, it's just because I am going to be making sure that everything looks well in the mirror. So basically you're going to start with your brush and you're just basically brushing your brows because sometimes the brows will, the hairs will be sticking up, sticking down and you want to just make sure that they're all uniformed. Before this, yesterday, I made sure that I just went under with the angled razor and just cleaned up under the brows. I don't do anything other than that. I don't pluck because sometimes you can over pluck. But just with the angled razor, just go under and just get rid of those sparse hairs underneath. And I also, at night, will add a little bit of oil to the brows just to keep them moisturized and to help fill in the sparse areas. Once you do that, you're going to start with your palette. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that black and attack the fallout. And I'm just going to start from the front and just do light strokes. I tend to have a bald spot here in the brow and it is something that I've had since birth. So. It's not something I could pretty much ever correct and grow hair in that area. It just does not grow hair in that area. So basically you're just going to take your angle brush, hold it this way, push down first to get a start basis, and then you're just going to make wispy, slight strokes and making sure that you're a little thick and you're ending up thin. Not super thin, but a gradual thinness in the brow. It's going to go up, down. Basically, I'm going to make that perfect, just little rounded arch. And then I take my finger and I just brush a little bit here in the front, just so that line is not as harsh. It's very natural looking. And I do the same. And don't worry about making your brows perfect and both of them looking the same. It's not going to happen. Like I say, my brows are never sisters, they're never twins, they're just cousins. And I do the same, I just whisk and lightly just fill in my natural, natural brow. 
like so. And I do the same thing with my finger, just slightly brushing on it, any downward motion, so that that first line is not as harsh. And this is what I have so far. Now, I could leave it like this, but I could go a little step further, which I'm just going to show you just for video purposes. On a normal basis, I may just stop here. I'm going to take my CoverGirl Brow Shape and Define and I take, I never use the want the brush itself. I use my angled brush and I just grab some from the angled brush like so. And then holding my mirror, I go back and I just do the same thing just to help kind of define it a little bit more darken it just a bit more so that it's not gray looking and once I do that to the one brow I add a little more product for the other brow and I make sure that I just go around and fill the entire brush with product. And I just go in and I just do the same thing. Like so. Those are my brows. On a regular, everyday, daily basis, I don't do concealer under the brow. The only time I really do concealer under the brow is if I know I don't have time to to uh, do my brows to use my razor and clean up. If I don't have time and I'm in a super rush, I will just put a little concealer underneath. The last thing I do may seem a bit strange, but this is something that I really have been doing a lot lately and it's been extending the wear of my products on my brow. So I'll come back and I will show you what I do. The last thing that I do actually is take some sort of gel. Yes, gel. I take a little bit of regular hair gel because the brows are hair. Natural hair that grows from your body. And just as you treat your own regular hair, you're going to do things to your brow hairs as well. So I'm using a little bit of gel. And I'm going to take that same angled brush. That's why every day I clean my brush after doing my brow routine. I just run it under a little hot water with a little bit of alcohol and clean it. And I just dip in a little bit. This is what you get. I'm going to take my mirror once again and I just go in with that just lightly on your brows. What this does is it just helps to just keep the brow hairs in place to keep the product from rubbing off. So if you're hugging your man, rubbing all over your man, and just going about daily life, putting on your t-shirt, anything where you're maybe rubbing your brows, or your brows may be touching something, this really helps to just keep 
your brows really intact and really in place. And that's all I do. I don't worry about flaking on the brow hairs because I usually will treat my brows with a little bit of oil just before I start. Just a little pats of oil on the brow hairs before I start and I massage that in. And that moisturizes the hairs so that when I do add the gel to it, it's not the hairs are not dry and it's not going to cause any sort of flaking. So this is my brow routine. I thank all of my MVPs for watching. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, hit like, and share this with a friend and another friend and another friend. I love all my MVPs. You are what make my channel rock. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.